75 years ago, a group of children traveling without their parents arrived in England, the first of some 10,000 children, mostly Jewish, who escaped from Germany, Austria, and Czechoslovakia before the onset of World War II. The operation was known as the Kinder Transport, Kinder being German for children. Monday, the 2nd of December, was marked as World Kinder Transport Day, with survivors in Britain telling the story of their remarkable journey. I want to leave as quickly as possible. And there was only three of us. We left on June 1939, and we changed trains in Hanover. And we joined the transport which came from Berlin, which was a whole carriage full of children. Mm. Oscar Findling arrived when he was 16. Now 91, he remembers the last words his mother said to him. My father was in Poland. My father was in Poland. My mother stayed behind, yes. Mm -hmm. And I'll never forget that the last words my mother said, will I ever see you again? And she didn't. Which was, if you may, <laughs> may say, prophetic words. Finling had lived in Leipzig with his parents until his father was arrested and his mother signed him up for the kinder transport. It took me 30 years from 1947 to 1977 to get all the story together, what happened to them. If you want to know, basically they were put in the ghetto in 1941, in a place called Wolitz, and in September 1942, one of my cousins who escaped took a photo and he had it, which I saw. They were all put on the cattle trains and they sent to a place called uh, Belzec, if you heard the name. It was one of the well-known gas chambers near Tablinka. And that was it. The British government agreed to accept the children after the infamous Kristallnacht pogroms of November 1938. The first group arrived on the 2nd of December 1938, and they continued to come until the outbreak of war in September 1939, when the borders were closed. Herbert Levy arrived in the UK when he was less than 10 years old in June 1939. He was lucky enough to have his parents join him months later. My parents had tried to get out of Germany for many years, but it was very difficult to get into, uh, into anywhere and until the British government allowed children to come on the kinder transport. The Americans had refused. Britain was the only country to do so. And I applied, or my parents applied for me to go on the kinder transport. And by pure luck, I was one of the chosen ones. His grandparents, along with two sisters, however, were not so lucky. Well, my parents took me to the station. I said goodbye to my grandparents. My, my grandfather was going to die a few weeks later. My grandmother, it was also the last time I saw her, because due to the American system of letting people in, uh, she had to wait until 1951 to get to America, and she never made it. She was one of the six million people who died in the extermination camp. Though some later returned to their countries of origin, many of the kinder transport children made their homes in Britain. Often they had nothing to return to, their entire families among the six million Jews killed by the Nazis.